But it is all like feeling so surreal now. But yeah, I'm so excited. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the next few videos, I'm going to be taking you guys along with me to redo my entire bedroom. And I'm very excited for the next few videos, so I hope you love them just as much as I do. If you do enjoy part one, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, all my social medias are in the link down below. And without further ado, let's start making this my dream room. Today is Monday, it is around 10am at the moment and I'm just about to move all my clothes from my Alex drawers into a basket so I can start moving them out of my room. The carpet guy is actually coming at 1 o'clock today to measure my carpet and get a sample so that he can prepare it and then put all new carpet on the floor which I am so excited for, it's going to smell so great. My carpet at the moment is so dirty and has so many marks on it that I am very happy that I'm getting fresh layout. I'm also going to be painting all the walls. I won't tell you what colour because I want it to be a surprise obviously. I'll end up doing a bedroom tour at the very end of this series so stay tuned for that. I made a Pinterest board of course so I have a lot of inspiration for my new room. I'll pop a couple pictures up on the screen. This is my inspiration. But yeah I'm so excited. In today's video it's mostly just going to be organising, rearranging, I did a big Ikea shop last week and ordered a bunch of new furniture and a mirror which I am so excited about and it's meant to be coming tomorrow and that's why I'm organizing all my stuff now so that when the new furniture comes I can just put the flat packs together and then just move all my clothes from the baskets into there. I'll give you guys a little overview of what my room currently looks like. I just have my big light up mirror which I'm obviously keeping. I love that so much. The new desk that I got I wasn't going to get one but I wanted a smaller one that made my room feel a lot bigger however I just have the Ikea two drawer sets which I have completely outgrown none of my clothes fit in them floating shelves my TV which will be staying there too and then I've also got my bed that little side table I actually ordered a new one from Ikea because that one's from Kmart and the top's chipping off because of my water bottle <laughs> and then this entire photo wall which I've had since before lockdown. It took me so long to put together but I've just completely outgrown it and kind of hate it now. Besides when it gets hot as we're coming into like summer in Australia all the blue tack comes off so I'm gonna start taking those photos off today as well. So fingers crossed hopefully I can bring my Pinterest board to life. I'm very excited for the next couple weeks because I'm going to be just transforming this room and coming into 2023 with a fresh space which will feel so so good. Okay I'm gonna show up now and start doing stuff. This is the basket that I have chosen. Um, I've just put a towel down the bottom so my clothes don't get dirty and I'm gonna put all my pajamas in here so that it's easier to move my drawers. <laughs> this is my issue, nothing fits. I'm starting to think that I do things way too differently to take this seriously and all of the times that we said
the clothes from there into here. The only thing I left were the pajamas that I'm obviously going to wear tonight. But so far, these two drawers are completely empty. Now it's time to sort out this drawer and this drawer, which I think I might put in a smaller basket because it's just like socks and underwear and stuff. Before I do that, I wanted to show you guys the carpet sample. So this is the sample of carpet that the guy's going to take today, and that is going to go on the whole entire floor, but it looks so much cleaner. <laughs> When you compare those two together, that is the new one and that is the old one. Let's get It's gonna look so drastic though, because there's not gonna be a pink wall, so it's actually gonna look like a really the big room will look change. Bigger. The room will look a lot bigger. And I've got a smaller desk, so it's gonna look bigger. That way you don't like, need drapes. I like the idea of blinds, because personally I love the idea of like waking up in the morning and then you like pull. Mushroom Are you gonna help me redo my room? It's gonna look so pretty, except you're not allowed to wait on this carpet. Do you understand that? The time has come to take down these photos. blue tack off the wall. <laughs> The exact same chair, this is what the chair looks like. I really, really like it. The mirror came and it was broken, so we have to send it back and get a new one. But yeah, I really like this chair. I'm going to put all the other furniture that it came in another room because there's no point like building it and stuff before the carpet's down. I'm happy that it came all today. Summer has finally kicked in in Australia and it is just so warm now. However, I've just been looking on my laptop on Target. 
just looking at a couple like bed sheets and little like room decor things. I'm on the hunt for like a cute pastel bed quilt that doesn't cost $500 but my brother and dad are currently building the Ikea furniture. It's so good. I just have to move it in here once it's done. I don't have to put anything together. They have finished the drawers but they are currently building the desk. That was that sound there. It's currently 3.59 at the moment so hopefully tomorrow I can work out when I'm going to start painting my room and start moving out all my stuff. I feel like things are starting to slowly get in progress now that the furniture came. It's very unfortunate that the mirror broke but it does look very nice and my mum has emailed and contacted Ikea and they're going to send us a new one for free which is good. And I'm also waiting for the second delivery to arrive because for some reason because it was such a big order they split the delivery so my side table will be coming either tomorrow or later today. Said it would come today but it's already 4 o'clock so I'm assuming it will come tomorrow which is totally fine. I took down a couple photos today and honestly these walls feel so bare with nothing on them. I'm going to keep online shopping, window shopping because I'm indecisive. I have like three different quilt covers in my car. Let me know in the comments down below any good places to get like Duna covers and stuff for affordable prices. Hello guys, happy Wednesday. It is the 9th of November today and we have started taking everything down in my room because we want to have it painted by Sunday. I'm going to take down all these decorations before we paint. <laughs> This wall looks so empty. We're currently taking down floating shelves. And one literally almost fell down. It was kind of scary. Happy I took it down now and didn't have all my stuff full of it. And we've also taken down these decorations. We've actually only been going for a little while and we got so much done. Obviously I took all those photos down the other day and then we took all the photo frames off of this wall. And then my dad got the screwdriver and unscrewed these floating shelves. I'm leaving my TV there. Unscrewed those shelves as well. And then I just put all my belongings away in a separate shelf in another room. My mom actually ordered me today a really beautiful floral quilt set because I was telling you guys yesterday how I wanted to find one that wasn't super expensive and I ended up finding one on Amazon and then I got pastel yellow bed sheets to match. Very spring summer vibes. That is all done. I think that's all we're gonna do for today. But it is all like feeling so surreal now that I'm actually redoing my room and I'm so excited for the end product. <laughs> 